I'm Daniel Makins. I'm the executive director of the San Angelo Cultural Affairs Council and uh, a relative of famed ballad hunter John A. Lomax. Working for a nonprofit uh, like a cultural affairs council, uh, like the Cultural Affairs Council in San Angelo, has been a wonderful opportunity. Uh, it really makes you realize how hard uh, a group of dedicated citizens have to work to preserve art forms. Uh, such as the music and the heritage that Mr. Lomax collected. It's taught me that there's uh, a lot of work involved, a lot of man hours. Uh, you really have to love it to preserve it. Way down southwest of Dixieland, it ain't too hard to understand where every country boy with a cotton tan wants to go to town to see the guitar man, guitar man. Guitar man, bless my soul, he got big old hands. He's a miracle worker, a migrant fool, a blues Casanova with a mojo too. I think one of the most important things we can do for uh, the next generation, for young kids today, is ensure that they have the opportunity to come in contact and to connect with uh, their heritage uh, and their history through various forms of art. Uh, to teach them that, you know, forms of expression uh, are meant to be genuine, that we all have a story to tell. Um, the way you keep the songs of John Lomax alive is by having them heard, uh, by giving kids an opportunity to hear the songs and to, and to understand where they come from, and to use their imaginations to kind of go back and picture that place in time. After all, these songs came uh, from a place uh, from the Western experience, the frontier experience, which was unique to America almost anywhere in the world, um, you know, these songs came out of a very specific point in time, uh, and they illustrate it and really tell so much about our heritage and who we are and where we came from. Uh, so I think the most important thing with the kids is giving them an opportunity, making sure no, nobody uh, you know, misses out on the chance to connect with these great songs, these wonderful stories. When you talk about and examine the music of, uh, that was collected by John Lomax, uh, again, you're talking about uh, the roots of, of everything that came behind. Um, if you look at the songs of the sharecroppers and the blues uh, of the slaves, uh, and you look at the songs of the cowboys, uh, you know all these, all the, this form of balladry that took place informed everything that came behind, and so everything that became rock and roll or blues or gospel or folk or or, or modern country music or rock music, uh, it all still carries that initial spark of. And, and song form uh, that was the ballad, the story uh, that these guys uh, and gals told, you know, while they were living their lives. Um, you know, we're all on a continuum, uh, and, it, and it's been said time and time again, but it's so important to know where you came from and to have a sense of that. Uh, and in particular in America, to be connected with the Western experience, the frontier experience, is such a defining uh, moment. It has, it has uh, molded how this country was born and how it came into being. And so having some connection with that, uh, uh, even if it's just through a very simple song uh, of some cowboy that Mr. Lomax wrote down, uh, that's a very significant thing as an American uh, to grow up having the opportunity to connect with that. Scrambled eggs on the stove Oh no, I'm still all alone Nobody to hold, no ring in my phone. Wow, that was interesting timing. <laughs>